I have the tools and materials here to terminate a circular plastic connector with a series of wires. Now the difference between these two connector bodies is we have obviously two sexes. We have the female receptacle and the male plug in terms of the body geometries which come together like this. And separate from that, although I have a bundle of pre-terminated pins, we would have a second bundle with which would be the sockets. So we have the pins and sockets which also have a sex. And in the CPC series, what you'll find is that the sockets go in the male plug and the pins go in the female receptacle. To load this connector we look at the back and we'll see the pin numbers. One is missing actually. It would be right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we look at the back of a male plug, we'll see the numbers are reversed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go ahead and load this body with some pins show you how easily that works. Now this wire has been in previous uses it's been marked red because it was probably a power wire and that would probably be in pin 1 with the applications that um, I deal with and pin 2 is usually a ground and that's just a matter of uh, the systems that I was working on prior to uh, creating this demo so it's just it's just a, a matter of fact it's happened it's not by any means a standard uh, this wire has been previously marked black place it in pin position 2 and like so I can load up this connector in whatever way is necessary as I insert the pin it'll bottom out and I can feel it catch and on this side of the body we see the pins protruding the appropriate amount. If I insert a pin, but not all the way, it's obvious. So I'll continue loading this body. There's no reason each circuit has to be completed. We can certainly have some holes. And one of the things I forgot to mention is before we we do that we always want to make sure we put on the connector body in our case we're dealing with a open harness so I can slide this over the end but uh, if I had just done this on a bundle inside the aircraft I'd have to pull all these out to put the connector body on the way we pull a pin out is we use this extract extraction tool and simply we take the tool and slide it over the wire like that and then slide the tool down into the connector body insert it till it bottoms out and clicks then we pull on the pin the uh, wire and the pin extractor both and that will pull the pin out if you run into a troublesome area uh, where one doesn't want to come out try inserting the extractor at a different angle. In other words, choose a clock position uh, oriented like this. Try again, 90 degrees, 90 and 90. The reason is sometimes these wear and you may have something happening inside the connector body that uh, in a certain position it just may not want to come out quite as nicely. This is a technique for making a very nice clean wire bundle. Now some of this is obviously done after the fact because of the nature of our demonstration. But these wires, had I threaded them through some expandable sleeving, could easily, easily be worked in a very, very clean uh, finished connector here. 
So what we'll have is we have our wire bundle threaded through the mesh sleeving. We can pull the sleeving back like that and use some of this silicone self-fusing tape also called uh, amalgam self-amalgamating tape. Um, it's got a few different names. And we just take a small piece of this and wrap it around the wires. This ties them together and what it does is as we put this body on the strain relief body and then put the cable clamp in this will kind of give the cable clamp something to grip against so again we're kind of working in reverse here um, this body would have been slid on previous but we slide the mesh sleeving up to the appropriate length we screw the strain relief shell on tighten it slightly now we simply tighten the cable clamp with the screwdriver and when this is complete it, it's a technique which gives a very clean and professional looking uh, harness and it provides excellent amount of strain relief and a very reliable connector the other side of this connector would be assembled in a similar fashion in this particular case we're working with a nine pin connector the two are brought together they're keyed only in one way and locked together like so